What is going on guys? Welcome back to Bag Em Outdoors. Today, we are currently driving to Lake of the Woods. I have never been to Lake of the Woods, but I'm on my way up there right now. I'm gonna meet my buddy Alex, and uh, he knows how to catch the big pike up there. So hopefully we can catch a 40 incher today, or two, or three. We'll see how it goes. And uh, yeah, it is early morning right now, and uh, we need to get to the lake. So see you guys on the water. I don't know. We could take my car if we need to. Yeah. Because that that road looks pretty skinny. Yeah, we're gonna look here. All right. Well, Alex has got his minivan out. There's quite a bit of snow out here, so it's a good thing that someone plowed a road. And uh, yeah, it'll be interesting getting out here. But once we do, I think uh, it'll be worth it. It's three degrees right now, so that's pretty cold. Hopefully, the tip ups stay. Um, on thawed and uh, yeah, we'll get fishing here. What? So, you got stuck, Alex. Any commentary? Minivans rock. <laughs> so we put sunflower seeds under the tires, see if we get a little traction. Oh yeah, your wheel is just floating right now. <laughs> <laughs> all right finally made it on the lake had to go to a different access but it was a journey and we're out here probably got like i don't know four feet of ice or so alex is rigging up tip-ups he's got quick strike rig quick strike rig pretty standard for pike you made that yourself right yep Yep, and then we got some smelt, smelt ale wipes, and then we might try brats too. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, catch some fish first. Yeah. I'm gonna hand this one out here. Is that record? Yeah. All right. Using an ale wipe, right? So the bait's like that big. Oh, I don't have it. There's one in the sled. Alex is the guy today. Yep. So. Makes me do all the work. <laughs> <laughs> hey, cool, I here. shoveled it. Okay. That's going pretty well. good. Try to take it. Hit him. Break that ice around there. Hit him, hit him, hit, hit him. Hit him. Keep him, keep going. Right the hole already. Yep, yeah, let him go if he wants to go. I'm, it's, it's a big fish, dude. <coughs> Started running around the hole right when I looked into it. Bob just sat in my thumb so hard. <laughs> oh, 30 pound flow. Is it really? Okay, I'll be, I'll be gentle. What do you got? Fuck. Oh. The bob stump. Oh shit. He's right here. Oh, I see your head. Not a bad one. That might be a 40. She's coming, I think. No, 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 no. Not huge. Hold on. <laughs> I think a hook it might be stuck <laughs> on there. <laughs> I'll just wait here. <laughs> Every time. It, <laughs> oh, there's definitely a hook stuck on there, I think. I'm yeah, sorry. there's a hook on the ice. And yeah. Mouth is wide open. Yeah. Tough situation with when you got four feet of ice. Huh? Huh? 
four <laughs> ice and there's a quick spin. <laughs> Alex, if you don't get this fish up soon, there's no tip for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Ah, it's stuck again. What the fuck? Yeah. Wait, wait. There it goes. There you go. Easy, off the line. <laughs> you almost got pulled in the hole. What the hell am I doing? <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Get off the line. Come on. No, go on. <laughs> no, straight up the hole. Oh, there you go. There we go. There we go. No, it. Oh, dude, that's a fatty, dude. I got it. Hold it right, hold it right there. <laughs> dude, that fish is gorgeous. Oh, that one hooks down pretty good. That one, that one had to have, had to fall down there when she shook her head. Okay. Okay, lift her. <laughs> Maisie, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Uh, we need to measure them out and weigh them. I might want to weigh them. Uh, she's a heavy one. Jump on Little the left side. Yep. Oh, she's bloody. That's because she got a big hook. Ooh, that's right. Look at how fat that one is. Oh, that pike. Awesome. Lake of the Woods. Gator. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to be 40, but still just a super healthy, thick fish. 37 or 38. I'm going 38. Yeah. That's a thick fish. Holy shit. 38 and a half. 38 and a half. All right, sweet. You want to weigh him or just let him go? No, we'll just let her go. Right, she's messed with enough today. <laughs> Look at that, filling the whole hole. Come on, girl. You're handing out this YouTube thing, Dad. <laughs> Look at that thick tail, too. Holy shit. Give her a little push. You think so? <coughs> yep, oh, there, there he goes. goes. Yep. Give her a push on the hole. Ice is so thick. There we go, dude. Oh, yeah. First time out here on Lake of the Woods. A lot of credit to Alex. Oh, she's there. She'll go down. All right. About an hour later. Got another one. Derek's turn to catch fish. What do you think it is, Derek? Blue marlin? Yeah, thank you. I think so too. Okay. Here we go. That's not, I don't think it's very big. Doesn't look very big, no. Big walleye? Well, it's not a big walleye. <laughs> yeah, definitely not a walleye. There it is. Just a little guy. Got it. Yep. All right, going back. <laughs> not big, but we'll take it, I guess. Whatever. Yeah. Than it is, yeah. All right. So, you might want to. <laughs> Alex's turn. Alex, you should sit on the left side of it. If you can. Huh. Oh yeah, there it goes. Oh yeah, that's a big one. Come on, boys. Fighting like a big one at least. <laughs> oh, it's 
I don't think it's a 27. There's a swivel. I can't see it. Water's so dark. I'm gonna fight more. I see all I could see was the big jaws. Was it big jaws? All right, that's good. Is it? I couldn't tell. Water looks big. It's gotta be big. You mean? Pretty sure that thing floats too, so I think. I'm not sure. I'm just gonna grab it right behind the lift it up a little bit. I'm gonna grab it right behind the freaking pit. That's not a bad one. Some people watching might be wondering why we're not pulling it out right now. It's because it's cold. We don't want the fins to freeze. I want to put it up the board. And it helps with the, uh, keeping the body. Ready? Yep. That's good. 36 and a half. Really? Yeah. It's a nice pike. Beautiful fish. Yeah. It's a cool shot, too. Yeah, look at it. It's just thick. Super thick pike out here pre spawn. Pretty pale, pretty heavy. There we go, dude. And off she's going. All right, so the best thing about tuba fishing on Lake the Woods is you get a good exercise. Ran about 100 yards of this flag. It's going good. Probably had it a while since. Not very good. Maybe decent. Yeah. Ooh. Good snapper. Good sure, guy. Pretty one though. Got one hook. Got a pike. They're super pretty on Lake the Woods here though. They just got a green tint to them. Not a lot of fish with that. 26. 26. Alright. Okay, I'm back. Could be spunky. I don't think he knows he's in the water yet. Give him a throw. Sweet. It's action. Hopefully we get another big one though. All right, so uh, we're done pike fishing now. Didn't get any more flags. We had like a three or four hour period of no flags. So we decided, you know, might as well be done doing that. And uh, just dropped the boys off. Now I'm heading back out. Still got the shack in here and I'm gonna camp overnight out here on Lake of the Woods. Um, we'll be fishing a little deeper than we were fishing for pike. So. Hopefully I can catch a big burbot or I'll take a lot of walleyes or saugers that Lake of the Woods is known for. So uh, yeah, we'll see you guys out there. Woo! That's some thick ice right there, folks. All right, folks, literally just put the rattle reel down and got a nibble. There he goes. I think it's a little walleye here. Oh, 
not doesn't feel terrible I guess definitely not huge there we go and it's a little sauger I'll take it this is actually my first sauger of the year tell it's a sauger because they got these dots on their dorsal fin and this is pretty much what Lake of the Woods is known for just little saugers and I mean I literally put that minnow down and got bit like instantly so we'll probably be catching a lot of these but beats what i've been catching ice camping all the times i went this year so yeah all right folks as you can see we finally got all set up here um got the cot there chair to be honest this is probably the most dialed camping setup i've had yet um yeah, um, one thing I never really talk about in my videos when I'm camping is having a carbon monoxide detector. This one actually detects carbon monoxide and smoke. So if anything, for some reason, <laughs> lights on fire or we get carbon monoxide, then this will start beeping at me. I hate to admit it, but I have been in situations where I don't have a carbon monoxide alarm and it just kind of makes you paranoid when you're trying to sleep and then you can't go to sleep. So having that just kind of gives you a little peace of mind knowing that, you know, You'll wake up if there's too much carbon monoxide. All right, guys, we got another fish playing with the rattle reel here. I'm not sure if it has it. It's just jingled a little bit. Oh, yeah, he's on there. Got him. This one feels freaking tiny. Probably just a puny walleye. Yep. Just a little sogger. Um, it is after dark. I wasn't really expecting to get anything after dark, but we got one. Show you guys what I'm using here. Just a single octopus hook with a split shot up from it. Probably one of my favorite things to use ice fishing. And then I just take I'm gonna get this guy back here, but just take the hook and kind of hook him right under the dorsal fin there. So he's kind of sitting like this. And I'll actually take another fat head and uh, put him on there facing opposite. So definitely a different thing that the fish haven't seen. And it also works really well for burbot because burbot don't really like to chase. And it, you still get that movement of your presentation without having it swim around so freely. So yeah. That's what I'm using. All right, guys. It is probably about 10 o'clock now. Haven't gotten any bites since that last sauger. Um, bite really turned off once it got dark, which is kind of what I expected. I think it's uh, kind of a day bite from what I've heard out here in Lake of the Woods. The water's pretty stained, so fish can't see as good in the dark. So... I'm expecting there to be a pretty good morning bite out here as well as into the day. So hopefully if I go to bed now, then I can catch some more in the morning. Um, if not, then the rattler will wake me up if hopefully a burbot decides to slither along. So yeah, for now, I'm going to go to bed and uh, up you date. I'll update you guys if I get any more fish. All right, guys, it's almost 6 a.m. and I got another rattle reel here. Feels like another little walleye. Yep. Another little sauger there. Again, just on a couple fat heads there. Did not get any bit last night um unfortunately but i guess that's how it goes it is the fish i just woke up to but uh yeah i can see the sun is just starting to peak out now so i think that's gonna be um what i'll be catching here now that it's daylight 
about about an hour later, rattle reel just went off again. Not sure if he's still on there or not. He's on there. Feels like we got another little something. This one might be a little bit bigger. Sauger, just been catching straight saugers out here. Sitting about 20 feet. I'm not even on any structure or anything out here. It's just sand bottom. Um, yeah, gradual break line. And uh, you're pretty much just waiting for fish to move through. Um, yeah, this one's not, this one's not a bad sauger. Oh, there he goes, but it's pretty much what you catch out here. Little walleyes and saugers. Um, it's definitely not bad ice fishing. It's kind of a deal where you get more action, not necessarily looking for those big bites, although there is some bigger walleyes and pike, obviously, as you could see in the video. But yeah, we'll give her a few more hours here and see if I can uh, get something bigger. Just got another nice little sauger here on the rattle reel again. All right, just pulled in the sauger. This is probably the biggest fish I've caught in the shack out here. Um, probably about a 14 incher. We're not keeping anything today. But uh, yeah, if you come here, that's on the bigger side of what you're gonna catch. And uh, yeah, we'll keep catching fish until we run out of minnows, I guess. All right, guys, just ran out of minnows. Um, I know I didn't have it in the video, but I caught a bunch of 10 to 12 inch saugers and I just thought that catching like 20 saugers would get pretty repetitive so i had a pretty good time out here in lake of the woods um another shout out to alex tim for taking me out and uh getting me on a big pike and uh yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed and as always remember to keep on bagging them